Hi and welcome. My first video about the JF-17's KLJ-7 fire control radar was a request for help from the viewers and community to figure out some radar behaviours I did not understand. The response was great, and the answers promptly came, so thank you to everyone who commented. Following that, I moved on and made a video about the general aspects of the KLJ-7. I am now wrapping up the first look into BVR search modes. However, I ran into another issue I can't figure out. Range while search allows the creation and update of track files, which are then immediately ported when the radar mode is switched to track while scan or onto the HSI via the data link function. Since TWIZ has to obey a certain subset of bars and azimuth combinations to provide a constant contacts refresh rate, the properties of range while search make it, de facto, an unrestricted track while scan. I was therefore looking for the minute differences and pros and cons between the radar modes, as players can take advantage of those in complex situations. This is when I noticed something I did not understand. Pay attention to the radar scope and the HSI. This is what I noticed as I was testing the MLC filter and the Zero Doppler. The contact is illuminated by a single bar in a fully opened RWS plus or minus 60 degrees 4 bars. The update time is about 8 seconds and the contact fades from memory before it can be refreshed. However, the moment it is illuminated, we have a track file in the HSI. How does it do it? The previous test prompted me to set up an even stricter scenario. Here is a target spawning two minutes into the mission. I set up data link. Note that there are no donors around. The radar is scanning the lower bar now. The contact has just spawned. As soon as the antenna moves to the top bar and sweeps zero ATA, we should get it. Here it is and to my surprise we already have a track file on the HSI. I really can't understand how. Using the same example, what happens if I illuminate the target with track while scan? As you can see I need multiple sweeps to generate the track file, but on the HSI, I have it right away. The phenomenon just observed has a number of consequences. For instance, it suddenly enhances situational awareness for low probability of detection targets. In other words, imagine a contact at the edge of the radar envelope or maneuvering in and out of the blind spots. A single range while search sweep is sufficient to build and display a track, whereas otherwise, multiple illuminations should be required. In cases like the one described, several seconds may pass before the target is illuminated again possibly making creating a track file impossible. Also, if multiple returns appear at different moments, how does the FCS know that the contact is not always the same one, but rather more than one? How can a track file be reliable in such a condition? Anyway, I am looking forward to hearing your input. Given how long the JF-17 has been out, and as far as I know no one has pointed out this peculiarity, I guess this is the correct implementation. Still, I am very curious about how the FCS does all that, as it is pretty remarkable. Thanks for watching, and take care.